Okay, I have a lot of people ask me the question if they could so, slow down the Singer uh, Classic heavy, heavy Duty Machine, and this, this should include all the US versions. So that could be the 4411, 4423, 4432, uh, 4452, uh, any of those versions of the machines. And this is the Singer School Elastic that sold at Walmart. But anyway, I've got the pedal that came with it. I've got a small bobbin screwdriver. And then this is for my industrial machines. Uh, just a regular screwdriver here. And we're going to pry the bottom off this case and look to see if there's a speed control setting in this. So I've been interested in doing this for a while. So let me zoom in the camera a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing to get the, the uh, little cover off here. It's fairly easy to do once I show you how to do it and uh, we'll have a look and see if it's got a speed control uh, within it. Okay, we've got our case here and we're going to take our screwdriver and you're going to place it, there's a pivot point right here. So what you're going to do let me turn this around so I can see what I'm doing here. Anyway, so what you're going to do is take your screwdriver and get it as close to this pivot point as you can on the side here. And you're going to kind of twist it and that outer case is going to give out like that. And it'll give out and then this piece will pop up. So you've got that piece out. Now all we have to do is the same one over on this side. So get it as close to that little point as you can pry it away and it will come right out. So there's the top part and what we're looking for is the speed adjustment knob. Let me turn it around so this is turning it towards you where the foot is this way like you'd be pressing your foot on it this way and what you're gonna see is right here there's a speed adjustment and more than likely, if your starts really fast, what it's going to do is it's going to be adjusted in the three. There's a little slot right here that runs this way. So it's kind of in the three and nine o'clock position on a clock. And if you turn it to the left, down towards the six o'clock position and 12 o'clock position, somewhere in there, uh, in between the seven o'clock, six o'clock, and the five o'clock position, it's going to give you the speed that you need. So let me hook this up to the machine and uh, we'll test it out. I'm going to put it back to where it came from the factory, which is about right there. And what you'll notice at that speed is just going to take off when you, you press the pedal. So let's hook it up and uh, have a look and uh, we'll go from there and I'll show you how to adjust the speed and how to test it out. Okay, I've got the bobbin case right here and the machine here. So before I turn it on, what you're going to do to test the speed is you're going to take this little black, uh, this little black piece here right here, and you're going to pull it down. So that's as fast as it'll go, and you let go of it, it'll stop. So just do this. Now we're we have electricity here, so do this at your own risk so you don't uh, electrocute yourself or something, but keep your hands away from this area here. We're going to concentrate on two areas. This right here is how we're going to adjust the speed and your bobbin case adjustment where well, your machine will fit perfectly in this little screw hole here. And anyway, so we're going to turn it to the left, but I'm going to go ahead and turn the machine on first. And we're going to test the speed. So a lot of times when you get them, they just take off like this. So I'm barely pulling it. And then it's going too fast for most people. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, insert that into that little slot. And we're going to turn it to the left about a quarter of a turn. Well, not even quite a quarter. Yeah, about a quarter of a turn. So I went from 
let's say the nine o'clock position to about the seven o'clock position on a clock. And let's try that and see what that does. Okay, that's helping. It's going much slower. So let's try to go just a little bit further here. Sorry, I keep hitting the camera. Tripod, I'm trying to stay out of the way. So let's just turn it a little bit more. So I'm probably about in between the six and seven o'clock position there. Let's see if that's better or worse. Okay, that's better. We can keep it going good and slow there. Okay, let's turn it to the six o'clock position and see what that does. So now we've got it straight up between the noon and six o'clock position. Let's see if that's better or worse. Well, when you let off, you can go slower there, but the ramp up time is longer. You hear the machine grunting before it gets going. So I think, let's go ahead and turn it back this way even more and see if that does any better. So I'm at about the five o'clock position now on the dial. It's always going to be, actually when you start sewing, go ahead and put the needle down first and it'll help you with your ramp up speed being a little bit slower when you get going. Okay, so we can keep that pretty slow there. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it all the way down now. Now we're at the nine o'clock and three o'clock position. Let's see what that does. Okay, now it's going real fast again. See, I just barely hit it and it takes off. So there's a sweet spot, turning it back to the right again. And it seems about this, in between the six and seven o'clock seems to be about the best position. So there's not that grunt ramp up speed as much before it starts and it starts fairly slow. So you can play with those positions and see what you get. And it'll still go very fast in those positions as well. So anyway, all right, I'm going to turn this off and uh, we're going to put the cover back on it. Let me show you how to do that. Let me zoom out just a little bit here so we can get everything in there. Tell you what, let me zoom in real close here. Make sure you can see what I'm doing. This is your adjustment knob right here. It started at this position, kind of at the nine o'clock and three o'clock position, if you look at the slot. And we want to turn it to the left and get it down to around in between the seven and six o'clock position. And that seemed to be about the right speed. So, okay, now let me zoom back out here so I can show you how to put the case cover back on. Turn the machine off and unplug it. So there's my plug, it's unplugged. And what you're gonna do, the spring goes right here. So align the spring up to where it goes in that little hole and then turn this over. And what you want to do first is get these little slots back down in the case. So press it on that side. And then on this side over here, you're going to have to give it a little bit of help as you push down and it'll pop right down in there. And then once you do that, this top piece up here will need a little bit of help. So take your screwdriver and pull it out just a little bit. You'll have to do it on one side and then on the other side to help it and it'll pop right in and then you should be good to go. So let's turn it back on. Let's plug it in first.
turn it back on. Let's give it a try now and see what it does. Okay, that should be much better. It gives you a lot more control on the slow start of the speed. And then if you want to go faster, just mash it down more and go faster. Okay, that's it. Hopefully this will give you uh, an idea of how to adjust it. And it should be, these pedals hopefully are like this on all the US models. Let me show you one here that doesn't have it. This one doesn't have it. You can see right there where the slot is to install it, but they didn't install it on this one. And there's no adjustment anywhere for adjusting the speed on it. So if you take it apart and you see this instead of the dial, that means you're not gonna be able to adjust it. But hopefully again, all the US versions will come with the same pedal and you'll be able to do what I just did and slow it down, get it, the speed under control. Okay, that's it guys. Let me know if you have any more questions and I'll be happy to answer them. Take care.